Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Charlotte. Today I have a very exciting vlog. It's kind of like the first, I guess it's not the first Christmassy thing we're doing, but it's the first Christmassy thing that we're bringing into our house pretty much. So today we are going to get our Christmas tree. Very excited. We're like almost halfway into December at this point and Christmas trees where I live go really, really fast. A couple of years ago, we couldn't even get a Christmas tree. So we had to go take one out of our backyard and it seriously looked like a Charlie Brown Christmas because the tree was so little and just, it was really small and uh, kind of pathetic. So I'm really excited that this year we're getting an actual Christmas tree, or at least we're gonna try. <laughs> so we are on our way out to head to the greenhouse where we get our Christmas tree. Fit check, I have my only pair of leggings. Thank you so much to everyone who uh, messaged me and told me about your leggings. Really appreciate that because these ones, like I said in, uh, a previous video these are my only pair of leggings currently but I'm getting more and then I have this super cute uh, like sweatshirt that's got this little polar bear and he's got his little winter hat and his winter scarf and I'm not sure if you, yeah you can definitely tell um, they're, they're little sequins the little hat and scarf have sequins on them so cute this is my favorite like Christmas wintry holiday sweater so I had to wear this today to go get the Christmas tree. You ready to go get a Christmas tree? Bah humbug. <laughs> Christmas trees where I live go really, really fast. So, um, we've been to, how many places have we been to now? Four. Two and a half. We've been to, this is the second place we've been to, and then there was another place that used to sell trees, but they turned it into a neighborhood instead. <laughs> um, <laughs> so like I said, trees sell out really, really fast here. We're not um, getting one of those, are we? We're just gonna go look, Ooh, but... I think we're running out of options. I think, well, whatever you guys want. The other ones were better at the other place. I think we should There's go look at these. One or two, which I suspect if we get up close and looked at them, they'd be hideous. Well, let's just go look. Yeah, let's look, we're here. Okay, so we're here. Like I said, this is the. Do you need a match? For? I have one. This is the second and a half tree farm that we've been to. Even the guy, the like attendant, said we only have Charlie Brown trees. So, but this is like a legit Christmas tree farm. Looks like. Look, they trees. they they like grow Christmas trees here. Rows and rows of Christmas trees, but that's the selection. So apparently you have to like come in advance and tag your tree so they don't have any like good trees available. I can't believe the lack of trees. I Actually can't I can. But I can't either. Are you kidding? This first year of Morgan's college experience. Right? Yeah, that was what, three years ago? Three Christmases ago was when we had the Charlie Brown tree. Yeah. yeah, we waited for Morgan to get home. That's right. It wasn't just us. If, if it gets it. to the point where we're picking some bush from the woods, we should just use the upstairs tree. Maybe no, the bush in the woods is a story. Oh, it's fun. It we still true. tell a story no, about the one from a few on years Christmas ago. videos, that Charlie Brown tree has a special place. Yeah, well, it's fun because we all go out in the woods, but it's getting pretty picked over out there. It's not like we... You can only do that for a couple of years. The trees don't go back that quickly. That's right. We haven't uh, the tree farm that we usually go to hasn't steered us wrong so far, except for that one year. <laughs> but that was on us. So hopefully the trees <laughs> will still be there. Yeah, what did he say when we... the second weekend of December. You gotta come the first weekend. Yeah, you gotta come right after Thanksgiving. What did he say when we pulled up that they sold out like, what, last Friday? Friday. Friday. It's Sunday. They sold out on Friday, so that worked out really nicely for us. Uh oh, see, I told you. Are they gone? 
No, this oh. right in front of us with the blinker on. How many are there? And these guys too. I'm They're all still. Oh, one's gone. There's three trees left, so. One, two, three. All right, people. We got... <laughs> what is going on? We so we made our way back. I told you. We we made our way back to the first farm that we went to. And as we're turning in, two cars turn in in front of us, and there's four trees left. But only there's only three. That one on the far left. Go ahead. Far left. Yeah. Somebody hop out right now. Okay, we gotta go quick, right, Dad? Exactly right. Not gonna get let the Not gonna browns get beat us here. Stiffed. <laughs> okay, I gotta put on the mask. Stuff. There's a Christmas bush over there. Okay, here's one, and there's one behind it. <laughs> These are enormous. That one right behind it. And then there's this one, which is huge. And then they have no, that's off the limit. No, it's not that one and that one. Oh, and there's that one. Is that one right there, oh, there too big? Too, but that's kind of a shrub. That's huge. This here, get a dad. Just get a comparison of me standing next to it. That'll be for school. And just see if it's. Yeah, it looks big. It's huge. Yeah, I would say it's twice your height. And here's the Christmas I'm not sure shrub. Get a Christmas hedge. <laughs> Now look, we're starting to talk about height versus density versus, so let's open our lines. Seems like it's this one or some piece of shit from the back of the... Well, why don't we just get one of those and take out, take the bottom off? Oh, hang on. Because I don't want to pay a hundred bucks and lop off fifty bucks worth of paper. Okay. How could we have choked this badly? Some sort of fur. That's not a pine tree. It's a white pine. <laughs> a white pine. Normally we get the Douglas fir. This is white pine. Which is Should we go that one over there? there? No! What's wrong with the white pine? Yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. Why are we hitting on this tree? Right? It's a circle! Does anybody smell the aroma? I, you know what I mean? What not do we really, think of this right? tree? I think that's the downside. Come this one doesn't nail. I mean, it just doesn't have a top. Right, that is true. We're gonna have a hard time. But, but that's it. the only issue. All the dark stuff. Yeah, there's no smell to this tree. Because it doesn't sit. It can Fern tree. Fern tree. Right, yeah, so what do we think? What do we. I'm team this thing. You're what? I'm team I mean, we could thing. always get some, like, spray or something. Yeah, no. For what, sure. What's the problem with it? It's, it just doesn't have any aroma. There is no smell. It's short. But it's taller than those. Yeah, and it's smaller than those. There's our tree.
it's actually a couple of days later and I wanted to show you in better lighting, even though it's still not great because this room is pretty dark, but I wanted to show you in daylight what our Christmas tree looks like. We haven't decorated it yet or anything. That's going to be a separate video probably coming at some point next week, but here's our Christmas tree. So cute. Very circular. It <laughs> doesn't really have the traditional Christmas tree shape. So I know we kind of showed you what it looks like at the actual farm where we got it, but just to give you a little bit more perspective, this is my living room. Welcome to my living room. This is where we keep our Christmas tree. And it's really nice. It's like right across from the fireplace. So it's actually the vibes in here, especially when we decorate for Christmas, get really, really nice. So I'll show you um, what it looks like now on decorated. And then, like I said, next week, um, probably next week, we're going to decorate it and uh, the whole room is going to be really Christmassy. But first, before I show you what the rest of the room looks like, I want to show you me standing next to the Christmas tree to kind of give you a better sense of like what it actually looks like. So it is pretty tall. It's taller than I am. I'd say I'm 5'4". And we have nine foot ceilings. So it's probably like seven feet tall. I don't know, can you see the ceiling? That's how far away it is from the ceiling. So yeah, it's probably like seven-ish feet tall. Um, it's really wide. <laughs> Usually a Christmas tree is like, you know, Christmas tree shaped. This one is just like circular. It's really wide and it stays wide. <laughs> like it's, there's no, it doesn't come to a point. It never tapers. Um, but you know, it's unique and we like it. The other thing that's interesting about this Christmas tree is that it's not the traditional like short pine needles. These are really long pine needles. I think this is called a white pine. I think they said is what it is. Um, so it's not like your, your traditional, um, fur Christmas tree. I think Christmas trees are usually like a f some type of fur. This is a pine. I know I'm, I'm, I could just be spouting nonsense, but if I'm right, maybe I qualify as a tree specialist. But um, the needles basically are softer. They're not as prickly, but that also means that the tree is a lot like denser, I guess, and we won't be like, usually you can see the back of the wall through our Christmas tree. This year, obviously, you cannot. That is a thick hedge. <laughs> but um, the branches are also a little bit flimsier because the needles aren't, like, as supportive. So we are going to be have to, have to, we are going to have to be a little bit more careful um, with what we hang on it. But that's okay. I don't know... We usually have some leftover ornaments that we don't use, but because the tree is so dense, I don't know, we might end up having to get more ornaments to like fill it up and make it look full and not like sparse and only like there's a couple of ornaments on there. But I guess we'll see. That all comes down to what we decide to do when we actually decorate the tree. But yeah, that's our Christmas tree for this year. Very exciting, very unique right across from our fireplace. Oh yeah, I never showed you the room. There's our dining room. You may recognize that from my Thanksgiving vlog from a couple of weeks ago. So there's the dining room, the stairs obviously, and it leads into this room, which we call our living room. It also is on the other side of the den, which is kind of more of our like casual. That's where the TV is. That's where the main couch is. This is more like, I don't want to say that it's like the formal living room because that makes it sound like it's a bigger deal than it is. But, like, there's no TV in here, so this is usually where you, like, host, like, family members for, like, holidays and stuff, I guess. And it's where we have the Christmas tree. It's where we decorate. It's also a good place. Um, it's the got the windows there that face the street, so you can see the Christmas tree when you, like, from outside through the windows. Anyway, I keep getting out of breath when I talk on camera. Um, we love having the Christmas tree in this room because Christmas tree is right there, couch is right here, facing 
the fireplace, which is currently broken, but the fireplace. <laughs> so it's really nice and comfy and cute on Christmas Eve and morning. We come over here and we usually spend Christmas morning opening gifts and kind of catching up, reminiscing about the year. So we have this nice, the nice Christmas tree behind us so we can just go and grab a gift, give it to someone. We're all sitting here in front of the lovely fireplace, which hopefully won't be broken by the time Christmas rolls around. But that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. Um, like I said many times before, we haven't decorated the tree yet, but we will in an upcoming vlog, probably next week. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that or any of my other upcoming vlogs. But thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys on, I don't know what day, but in my next video. <laughs> Bye guys.